little bitty tier, we're going to be looking at this very nice brand new Venture Lighting. 320 watt, base up burn position, pulse start natural white or 5000K, whatever you want to call it. UV shielded 950 series metal halide bulb. And this particular bulb came in a set of two, which was bought off eBay for $10 total, which was actually very cheap if I'm allowed to say that. But anyways, let's go ahead and read the etch now and not waste any more time here and see what makes up this natural daylight metal halide bulb. So first off, we're going to point the lamp etch into some light source so we can get a better view of it. So as you can see, there is a lot of information about this lamp on the top. You can see the lamp description is filled with almost everything about this lamp. So first off, we have our MP symbol, meaning metal protected, right there. And then of course our watts is right after that, which is 320, which I think is super rare for a metal halide lamp. I've never seen this wattage before at all. And after that, we have our operating position for the arc tube, which is base up, plus or minus 15 degrees, and I'm going to put that in the description below of this video. And then our bulb shape altogether, which makes the whole bulb look pretty cool and all. It's the elongated dimple 37 bulb, and that's what it says. It's ED37, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have our shield type, which is UV shielded. So this has a different... This basically has... Um, a shield that can absorb most of the UV radiation from the Earth tube, which I think is nice. And then our starting method, which is pulse start right there, the PS meaning pulse start. The EM means that this bulb is only supposed to be used on electromagnetic coiled ballasts like this one here. So that's what it means. And then our color temperature and CRI is listed on the far right. The 9 tells me that this has a CRI of 90 and above, which is excellent. Usually quartz metal halide bulbs have a CRI range of 65 to 70, depending on the model and product number of the bulb. And then the 50 means that this bulb has a color temperature of 5000K or daylight. So this bulb is a daylight white metal halide bulb, which I think is awesome. And this is my second wattage natural white metal halide lamp that I have in my collection. This, the other bulb that I have is a 250 watt as well, and it's made by the same company, which is Venture Lighting. And it's protected, and it's a base up operating position, so that's that. So, anyways, we have the phone number of the company right here. And then, of course, the company name all together, which is Venture Lighting. And then the uniform tells me that this bulb has a very fast, hot restrike. So, in case if there is a power interruption, it would re-strike in like less than five minutes, which I think is awesome. And then of course we have the nickname for this bulb, which is Natural White, telling me that this is a daylight white metal halide bulb instead of like a natural cool white metal halide bulb like you see on regular probe start metal halides. And then of course our mercury symbol is right here. That tells me that it contains mercury inside the arc tube. And then we have three final things right here. Letter R tells me that this bulb will emit ultraviolet radiation if it breaks. And this bulb contains a little dose of the Krypton-85 um, isotope element, which is very dangerous. It can lead to cancer and all that, so be careful. So, And then, of course, the final thing, the final symbol is the ballast code. It's the Actually, it's the anisai ballast code. I meant to say that. Excuse me. So it's the M154. And that letter O tells me that this bulb is open rated because it has a shield around the arc tube. If it was enclosed rated, it would be it would have a letter E instead. So that's what the O means. So th it's the M154 slash O, and um, that is that's the ballast that runs this bulb. So pretty nice if I'm allowed to say that. So now, since we're done looking at the lamp patch, let's look at the construction now. So first off, let me just put this on the ground. This thing is so heavy. So first off, we have our hard aluminum base with a ceramic insulator, which is polished. And this base is the EX39 base because this is an open rated mogul base metal halide bulb. It, this also applies to probe start metal halide lamps as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's the base. And uh, let me put this bulb back in my hand here. So we have no bulb glue on the bottom. They just torqued it onto the base and um, looks really good. Sorry for the voice crack there, so sorry. And we have some a metal strap on the stem right here to support the shield assembly of the bulb and of course the arc tube all together. You can see they wrapped around the wires with springs around them, which I think is nice. 
has a nice sturdy collection when this bulb is like being moved to somewhere. And then of course we can see our electrode here. We can see one of them and then the other one is in the other ceramic coating on the arc tube. Our little tip right here. Sorry if the lamp etch, lamp etch if it, sorry if the lamp etch if, if it was in the way, sorry. So that's pretty cool. We have some shield um, uh, straps that support it. And um, and not gonna lie, the shield here, this shield here is pretty thick. So it's mainly because it has a bigger R tube. So and so it keep so in case if it explodes, the shield will contain the hot fragments from the R tube, which I think is nice. So now here is our R tube. You can see it's a football shaped R tube because it's pulse start. And yeah, you can see there's only one coating of ceramic on one end of the R tube, telling me that this is a base up operating position. So, and it's supposed to be operated like this. Let me show you real quick. And plus, the um, the supporting of the shield straps, which are these um, outer metal bars, it's not supported very well. You'll see in a second. So let me go ahead and wiggle the bulb a little bit. And you may notice it fell down a little bit. See, now it's uneven with the R2. You know, put it back up, it goes back down. So this bulb is... It still works, which is nice, but however, the shield, uh, the outer bar, outer metal bars of this bulb, it's not supported too well. So, yeah, see that? You heard that big thud. So, that's what I mean. So now I'm going to give you some specifications about this lamp, since we're done looking at the construction now. So this particular bulb here produces 22,500 lumens, which is basically 22,500. The average lifetime on this bulb here is 26,000 hours, which is super long. It's not as long as 30,000. So the color temperature of this bulb is 5,000 K or daylight, and the operating position is base up plus or minus 15. And um, I don't believe I have any more specifications to say out loud. So now I'm going to go ahead and give this lamp a test and let it start up. So, and hopefully there won't be any issues with the R tube whatsoever. And I have tested this bulb before to make sure it works fine, and sure enough, it does. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the bulb and screw it in into this brand new tabletop fixture that I built. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in, and I'm going to try to be as careful as I can with this bulb, because this bulb is base up and I don't want to destroy it by accident. I don't want to crack the bulb open because it contains Krypton 85. So I'm actually gonna set the camera down so I can use both hands to screw the bulb in. So please bear with me for a moment while I set the camera down here. So let's go ahead and screw it in. You can actually hear me doing it. So there we go. That's it. There we are. You can see the bulb right there. You can see, you saw me screwing it in. So at least you saw the bulb, you, at least you saw me screw the bulb in. So here's the new ballast I got. So, and I wired this in parallel. So this socket can work base down lamps and this can work base up lamps. So capacitor here and igniter and then the ballast. This is made by ISB Solar Basic. It's a metal halide ballast, constant wattage. And this bulb operates two lamps in one. You can see it operates 320 watt M132 slash M154, which I'm going to be operating shortly here. And it also operates the 350 watt M131. So that's pretty cool. And there's your diagram, just in case if you want to look. It operates four voltages rear, 120, which is hooked up right now. So yeah, there you go. So I grounded the ballast so I don't get shocked if there was an open circuit in operation. So. Anyways, now I'm going to set the camera right where you can see the bulb is, so you can see the lamp turning on. And I already tested this bulb before, and it actually kind of looks sky blue to me. So since when this bulb gets a little older, the color temperature will decrease. So anyways, now enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and turn on this brand new 320 watt metal halide pulse start natural white lamp. Here we go.
So this brand new daylight white metal halide bulb is now at full brightness. And as you can see, it is actually pure daylight in here. I really love this lamp. It's high quality and it's brand new. This has barely been used. I've tested this bulb before to make sure it works and it does, so. So as you can see, this bulb here lights up this room super, super nicely in very nice 5000K daylight white. So very cool. You can see the shadow right there of the bulb. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video of this brand new venture lighting 320 watt pulse start daylight white metal halide bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.